Hi, this is Jack Wood from Planet Eclipse, here to have a quick look through the ether and uh, also to have a look at how to lubricate and maintain the ether. So, first of all, we'll crack open a fresh new gun. A lot of you will already have seen this, but what you have inside here is ether, barrel sock, lubricant, spares kit, instruction manual, two piece 14 inch barrel. Hex key kit and the gun itself. I'm going to concentrate on the uh, maintenance and regular lubrication of the drivetrain inside the ether. Generally, it should be finger tight inserted in the back. You may find the first time you take it out, it's a bit tight. Just use a hex key to unscrew that. And do so far and then pop out as the bolt spring tries to push it out. Remove that and we see we have bolt system has come out in one piece. The only other piece left inside the gun now is the bolt spring. Place the gun to one side, we don't need that for a while. Here we have the complete uh, drivetrain. We have bolt spring, the bolt with the rubber tip. We have the bolt guide, which is the silver piece, and the valve body, which is the black piece at the back. You'll notice that um, there is some grease, obviously, on here from assembly. This gun has come straight off the production line. So the first thing we're going to do is wipe off uh, any of the grease that's already on there. Take off the grease. And then I like to use a microfiber hold on to the valve body at the back and use the microfiber to unscrew the uh, valve body from the bolt guide. Unscrew that and you can see where it comes apart in the center. The bolt guide is just a hollow space, that's the valve chamber inside. The bolt slides up and down on the front section and in the back here is a bumper. This is the, what the bolt comes into contact with in this rear stroke. Sticking out of the front of the valve guide, we have the poppet, what we call the poppet, or a spool. At the back here, if we remove some of this grease, you'll see that we have two flats at this rear section. You may find the first few times you take this joiner section off, you'll need to use some flat grippers. The ones I have here, just flat jawed grips. Hold on to those two flats across there and unscrew the valve body from the joiner section. Slide that out. You now have the poppet and the joiners together, and the poppet can just be slid out. You now have the joiner, poppet, and the valve body. One of the small pieces you have, small spring back here. This lives inside the back of the poppet. Again, at this point, we just want to clean down all the parts you have taking off any of the excess grease. Get everything cleaned up, ready for reassembly. Here we have parts. We have the poppet, poppet spring, joiner, the valve body, the bolt guide, and the bolt and bolt spring. Similar to how we do with the Geo bolt system, I'm going to use a small amount of grease for each of these parts. I like to take each individual o ring, a small bit of grease on the fingertip, just rotate each o ring and smear each o ring lightly in grease. While I'm applying grease, I might as well explain the numbers we have on here. The rear we have a number 11, 
Second one in from the rear is a number 10. One near the front here is a number 9. And the very front one is a number 4. So we're going to lubricate all four of those O-rings. We'll take the joiner assembly, slide the poppet into the back of the joiner assembly. Take the two number 14 O-rings on the joiner assembly, apply a small amount of grease to those. In the back of the poppet, insert poppet spring and slide that whole unit onto the valve body, screw that into place. It's important at this stage to make sure that the joiner is screwed in all the way flush to the valve body. There should be no gap between the joiner and the valve body. Now apply a touch of grease to this step here. This step here slides inside the joiner where there is no ring inside there. Just apply a small amount of grease onto that and just check the 9 and the 4 and make sure they have grease on them. And screw the bolt guide back on. Again, there should be no gap between the joiner, the valve body and the bolt guide. Joiner cleaning and greasing. It's very important that this part here where the bolt actually slides up and down on is completely dry and clean of grease. We don't want to put any lubricant at all, oil or grease or anything, onto this part of the bolt assembly. The same goes for the inside of the bolt, inside around here, the bit that slides up and down on the bolt guide. It has to be completely dry and particularly the bumper as well needs to be completely dry. If there's any grease that builds up around here, it can actually cause the bolt to stick up against the bumper. Before we put the whole assembly back together again, it's worth taking a quick look over the bolt and the bolt tip. So remove the spring, um, give the whole outside of the bolt a wipe. Like the bolt guide, the outside of the bolt and the inside of the bolt should be all nice and clean and dry with no real lubricant on it, no grease. Um, you can remove the bolt tip very simply, like an o-ring, give it a squeeze and it peels off from behind, clips into place there, make sure it's seated down. Again if you want to remove it, give it a squeeze behind it and peel it off. Make sure everything's clean there, make sure the bolt tip's clean, click it back into place. Slide the bolt spring back onto the bolt, slide the bolt back onto the bolt guide and the whole thing can go back into the gun. Personally, I never like to use the hex key to hold the bolt uh, assembly in place. I just like to do it up by hand, and that means it can be removed by hand easier later on. It won't come loose during play. Just make sure it's just tightened up to the back. No need to over tighten it. It'll stay uh, nicely in place. And then it, in a, a game situation or uh, down at the field, it's very easy to just remove the bolt assembly to clean and get access to the breech if need be. It's quite simple and straightforward. Um, all we use is the recommended eclipse grease, hex key to get the bolt assembly out and everything should be able to be taken out and disassembled by hand. Hope you enjoyed that, see you later.